Hi, my name is Derek Lipkowski. I'm from San Francisco. And this is a film about my life. So I had a traumatic brain injury in 2006 when I was an undergrad filmmaker at NYU and I returned to San Francisco to make my then-to-be thesis film. To appreciate Derek's accomplishment, you have to know what happened to him on July 16, 2006. Derek has no memory of what happened to him that night. He remembers being in a cafe in North Beach with some friends. He left alone to walk home. According to witnesses, four men grabbed him off the street, threw him in the back of a van and began beating him. Then, while the van was moving, they threw him out in the street. He landed on his head next to those cable car tracks. The four men were never found. I was rendered comatose for 11 days and permanently disabled, paralyzing me on the right side. We met on the Larkspur Ferry? That's right. Right before I got on the ferry, I noticed this guy with a hand brace and a foot brace and he had shorts on, so it kind of caught my attention. I'm like, oh, I wonder what his deal is. And we just got to talking and he was being very, I could tell he was nervous. He told me like, oh, I'm from the city. I know where everything is. Um, you know, I can help you out. And he eventually got my number. The next day we went on our first date and here we are almost six years later. I just clickety clacked it in. TBI stem cells. And they found a study proctored by the University of California, San Francisco called STEMTRA. So my hope is that I can regain as much uh, functionality and cognitive acuity as I had prior to the injury. Because even though you probably can't tell, I was a lot quicker and a lot sharper. Logical things are difficult. I can speak well, but if you give me any logical task, my memory is slightly affected, but thankfully not that much, as opposed to a lot of people who have had traumatic brain injuries. Uh, I was able to speak well shortly after I got out of the coma. Um, my family, all my family got deported. And so I was left alone with my two brothers. And it was so scary. Like, I felt like, I was helpless. It was really hard. It was really hard. <laughs> and so, like I said, when I met Derek and he told me what happened to him, I always, I, the first thing I said was like, why, why am I complaining or why do I feel sorry for myself? You know, when here's this guy that something really messed up happened to him and he doesn't have any, any anger. He doesn't have any Vengeance in him. What's that? Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs?